fabulous 60 minute price is live. And now, here is the star of the price is live. Two This message is being transmitted at the request of local authorities. This is not a test. At 9.51 m today, the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant reported a level 2 incident. At this time, officials on site are unsure if the site is safe or not. As of now, all residents of Avenal, Wasco, Paso Robles, Cambria, and Santa Maria are now advised to evacuate away from the nuclear power plant. More information will become available as the situation develops. Stay tuned for further updates. All right. Introducing Little Caesar's hot and ready pretzel crust pizza, a large pizza with a creamy cheddar cheese sauce topped with mozzarella, pepperoni, and a four cheese blend, all on a buttery salted soft pretzel crust for just six bucks at Little Caesar. This message is being transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. This is not a test. At 10.35 m today, the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant declared a Level 7 incident. A Level 7 incident is classified as one that has a major release of radioactive material with widespread health and environmental effects requiring implementation of planned and extended countermeasures. This power plant is located very close to the mid-latitude jet stream. At this time, all residents of the United States should brace for nuclear fallout, as the jet streams will carry this radioactive material all across the United States. Fallout is the byproduct of nuclear detonations, and is lethal within minutes of exposure. The governments of Canada and Mexico have been informed of this inbound danger, and they are taking action accordingly. As of approximately 20 minutes ago, the president has declared martial law. It is advised that all residents of the continental United States should pack an emergency survival kit consisting of one gallon of water per person and enough to last three days, non-perishable food items enough to last three days, a flashlight, and a battery-powered or hand-crank radio if possible. After your kit is packed, go to the lowest floor in your home or report to your nearest shelter. If you are driving, go to the nearest building and ask for directions, if possible. Get in your car, and drive as many people to a shelter as possible. As of right now, all residents on the East Coast have about two hours to get into shelter. Stay tuned for further updates.